you guys. I just wanted to pop on here and say that I miss all of you guys very much. I hope you're enjoying some time with your family. And I wanted to read you guys a book today just to kind of get you inspired a little bit about making art at home. So hopefully my dog won't bark too much, but we'll see. So the book we're going to read today is called Lily Brown's Paintings. And I very much enjoy this book, so hopefully you'll be able to see all the pictures. I'll try to hold it up close enough for you. Let's see. It says, Lily Brown loves her mama, dada, and baby brother, and the world they live in. Sometimes she spins around her room thinking about the world and its wonders. But when Lily Brown paints, her world starts to change. The sunlight turns to stars and Lily begins flying around them. All the universe is one big colorful splash. The star circles the planets in Lily Brown's paintings. So she likes to use lots of colors. Which you know Miss Nugent loves colors. So. And sometimes they come down to earth to hang around sidewalk cafes and shine when the sun goes down. When Lily Brown paints the trees that she walks past on her way to school, wears hats and drinks tea on cool days with other trees and shrubbery, they know Lily and bow to her. So all her trees are coming to life. When Lily Brown paints fruit at the corner market, it is stri striped and polka dotted. It speaks to people, then laughs out loud. When people put the fruit in bags to take home, the apples sing all the way there. In Lily Brown's paintings, the path to the park becomes a wild animal living room with antelopes lounging and alligators on the phone. Lily always remembers to draw them a treat. In Lily Brown's paintings, softly blowing rose-colored winds bring voices from across the ocean to tell stories that, they, that she has never heard. Then she listens and paints with blues and orange to let the wind know she has heard them. Sometimes Lily herself walks around in her paintings or sails away through fields of red corn and purple painted skyscrapers. In Lily Brown's paintings, the colors of people, places, and things change with her heart. People walk upside down and the buildings on streets dance with airplanes flying above. And it's another world. Lily paints all that she sees and feels her own way. She puts her world of color and light on anything she can find. It is magical. But at the end of the day, when Lily Brown is about to put her paints away, she remembers her mama's smile, her daddy's eyes, and the way her baby brother holds her hand before he goes to sleep. It's their world again, and it's wondrous. So, I just wanted to read you guys a book, just because I miss seeing you guys every day, and I know we usually, we read books sometimes in class, so I just wanted to read you this book 
because I just find it really inspiring just because she loves to paint and draw and hopefully while you're at home you can find different things to paint and draw and ways to be creative and hopefully I will see you guys very soon. Alright, bye.